We started off just asking the questions and we'd put our fingers on the thing and it'd move and they'd answer questions. Finally it got to where it would just move on its own. We wouldn't have to put our fingers on the board or on the unit. And so growing up, the fire company had little coupons that you could send in and get a bracelet and then the little charms would go on it. And I had a full charm bracelet through the fire company and it come up missing. And growing up, it was all six of us girls in one room. And as some of them left, we would change where we slept and which bed and everything. So we changed positions of the beds and, you know, and so we asked the Ouija board where my charm place it was. And it said it was in the bed rail next to the window. Well, that's where at that time I was sleeping I used to sleep at the other end of the room, and sure enough, it was along the bed rail, on the next to the mattress on the bed. So was this the same bed that you had slept in when you lost it? No. No. So this so was at the other end of the bed. room. Okay. And we had moved the bed to different positions mm -hmm. and everything, as everybody was leaving home. And, and when you the asked same it, bed. it told you this is where it was, and it That's was right exactly where it was at. exactly where it was at. Right. Next to the window. Right, and when we were first, you were first telling me about the Ouija board and how y'all asked it questions, you were telling me about your brother? Yeah, my brother died in Vietnam. So just curiosity, we asked him where Benny was, and it said he was down at the mailbox. Well, we had a pretty good sized yard, and next time we asked it, he said it was in the hedge out in front, which we had a hedge going down to the mailbox. Mm -hmm. Then the next time, he said he was on the porch. And then it said he'd come in the house. But every time he'd come closer to us. And this was distance apart that it kept oh, telling yeah. you. Oh, yeah, like and, six and months to a year. In between, between asking, and every time the sequence got just closer. got closer. He got closer. Right, to so it's not like it jumped around. It no. Just kept, it, and, and they said it's, period of time. he's finally in the house. Yep. Wow. And when we first started talking about it, you are talking about how y'all used to play with it, and then I asked you, I said, no, wait. I said, who had their hands on it? And that's when you told me, nobody. nobody. So it how long did it move. go on that y'all didn't have to have your hands on it at all? The first two or three times we had our hands on the, the unit, and then we put our hands just on the board and it moved around. And then we would just lay the board on our knees. We wouldn't even have to touch it with our hands. Just lay the board on our knees and it would move around and answer the questions. And then we put it in the closet and said, that's enough. I don't know which way to go. <laughs> gotcha. So would you, would you recommend playing with or using the Ouija board? No, it's not a toy. Definitely not for kids. So how old were you when you were utilizing the Ouija board? The last time I used it, I was about 14. And do you know when y'all started using it? I was about eight. About eight. So this is a long period of time that it went on yeah. without it needing to have hands on right. the board or on the planchette. Right, just laying it on our knees. And you always played or utilized it with someone else in the room. You never right. did it by yourself, no, right? No, never by ourselves. Right. We didn't so, want to do it by ourselves. Right, exactly. Not if it was by itself and giving you, you know, legible answers. Yeah. It would be pretty good, too. So do you know what happened to your Ouija board? Last I knew it was in the closet. Still in the closet. Of course, the house ain't there now either. My aunt tore it down. But. So the house is buried on the property, though, right? So the Ouija board is buried in, in the house on the property. Wait, the house is buried? Yes. She buried the They demons. leveled the house completely to the ground into the basement. They put it, they leveled all the upstairs into the basement, and it's buried. It was a three story house. And so we wouldn't come back home. She tore down the house. Nice step in. Is that a common thing to bury a house like that? Yeah. No, that was her. <laughs> some, some people do. We don't have basements here, so when you said bury well, a house, I'm like you had to dig a hole. No, <laughs> they had a basement. That's where we used to put the vegetables when we canned them and stuff. Like a root cellar? Kind of like a root cellar. Yeah, yeah okay. Hmm. But more finished off like a basement. But it was utilized right. for the same thing as a root yeah. cellar, yeah. But it had That's the pretty common. Furnace down there. And now it probably has a 
Ouija board I'm going to buy something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to dig it out. Mm, Cornfield so. toned it now. <laughs> but that wasn't the only thing because when we had the big barn, uh-huh. my sisters would talk about having seeing white feet going up the ladder to the hay mound. And if you was really quiet, you could hear the bells moving around, and they would never be stacked the same way. And th- these are hay, but these are big hay, hay bales. bales. Yeah, seventy-five pound hay bales. And they were moving around. Yeah, because my brother had uh, kind of skinnied out in there. He made like a, a like a cubby hole. Uh, yeah, a cubby hole, clubhouse, whatever. Right. So you move a bale and you can get into it. And sometimes you couldn't find it. It was completely just stack, stack, stack. It wasn't there. And then other times it was bigger than what he left. It. Like a playhouse in the hay bale. Interesting. <laughs> Very much so. But every now and then you could see white feet going up the More? ladder of the mm-hmm. hay bale. Did you ever witness the white feet? One time. One time. Were you by yourself? Yeah. So my, were they by themselves? My, old, my oldest sister was the first one that seen him, and she seen him about four or five times. What do you say, white feet? You mean like shadowy white? Okay. Like mist, like a mist of white. Right. The, okay, I got you. So just make out the feet, though. Probably. Just barely. Was there any sound with that? Did you hear? Not, that? not the feet, but okay. you could hear the bales move. 